can leave me where you lead i go i like that song holy spirit <laughs> it's by tasha god i'll go i'll follow where you lead your hand i trust completely you can lead me where you lead i'll go ah amen holy spirit just started singing that song he just started singing it and it sounded good so i sang it out loud <laughs> our father who art in heaven hallowed it be thy name we honor you heavenly father we thank you for today king of king and lord of lords your majesty we favor you we thank you lord i pray the right people see this video receive excuse me your knowledge wisdom and understanding and thank you jesus thank you lord amen so this is the second video for today I'm actually going to be reading from Deuteronomy 1, verse 11. Deuteronomy 1, verse 11. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are and bless you as he has promised you. May the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous then you are and bless you as he has promised you praise the lord so i've been seeing um 1 11 11 11 so excuse me guys and so um basically the lord and uh, he's using the guardian angels and his holy spirit to remind us that he is bringing us wealth and prosperity okay he is bringing us wealth and prosperity okay that's it okay another one he did show i got two parters for this one so that's the first part. God is, um, he remembers his promise and he's bringing us abundance and prosperity. That's it. Wealth and prosperity are about to come to you. That's it. Wealth and prosperity are about to come to you. When these things come to you, remember in Luke eleven eleven. Jesus revealed that God, the father is not a mean or judgmental God. Okay, as opposed to how a lot of people betray him. So just remember your God. Remember your Father. As the Lord is blessing you, keep Deuteronomy 111 there to remind you that God is going to fulfill his promises. Okay, he knows what he promised you and it has to come to pass because now it is Shabbat. Because now is the appointed time. Okay, now what's that? Shout out about Sata. You know, Dr. Lovey, right? He was talking about it last night. Some of us, that's one of the things he talked about. It was a lot. The Holy Spirit was preaching last night. But one of the things he said was, You for some people forget where God brought them. Shabbat. Some people forget. Where God brought them from. And then Shabbat, as soon as you do that, that's spiritual contamination. Praise God. That's spiritual contamination. So, hallelujah. Hmm. Praise God. God is a promise-keeping God. He's going to give you the wealth. He's going to give you the prosperity. But don't you get spiritually contaminated or obese. Praise God. Ha, Shabbat. And forget your father. Don't forget our father. We have to remember. And this is a word for all of us today. I pray we all receive it. In our spirits, minds, bodies, and soul. Okay? That's the end of this word. God is bringing the wealth, the prosperity. He is um, He is doing the promises that he promised us. And we are not 
to, to forget our Father. We are not to forget our Heavenly Father who Jesus revealed to us in Luke 11, 11, And we are not to forget our Lord who brought us out of everything. We are to remember it and be humbled and be grateful and be a blessing to others. Okay? Praise God. <laughs> Shalom.